Hallelujah, thank you Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah, oh, the, uh, listen my brother and sister, today, as I had uh, promised you to preach in the interpreter speaking tongue, I know, I know you will, uh, you've been waiting a long time to listen to this message, you love, I know that you, you, you want to love, you want to love, I love this, this, this topic, interpreter speaking tongue. As you remember, last week I had preached the, uh, the, the speaking tongue, speaking tongue, spiritual language, heavenly language. You will listen. Today's message continually spiritual gift, uh, interpretation speaking tongue. Paul, Paul asked us to to receive the gift of interpretation of a speaking tongue yeah huh that I, 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 I want to say that the, the scripture uh, fourth Corinthians 14 chapter 5 verse listen my my brother and sister uh for this reason, for this reason, anyone, anyone, any people who speaks in a tongue, I, I want to speak in tongue, you, I believe you are speaking tongue, anyone, should to pray that he may interpret he may interpret what he says hmm? what he says hmm? oh uh, you know so the poor said uh, the, the other other scripture I would like everyone of you to speak in tongues but I would rather have you prophecy prophecy oh I love this prophecy he who prophesies is great so then one who speaks in tongues unless he interprets so that the church may be edified hmm? so Paul asked us to interpret speaking tongues hmm? as you've heard this region Hmm? The Paul said of the, the, the same chapter the, from the 6 to 12, I want you to read uh, for this verse uh, that you understand why we should uh, interpret speaking tongue. That Paul explained it's clear. Take examples like uh, he said uh, you know if I don't catch it, somebody speaking tongue I will be foreigner to him also he will be foreigner to me Another example, Paul said, if trumpet does not sound clear call, who can be prepared in battle field? That is, that, that, that is said. That's why we need interpret speaking tongues. Hmm? Or 
while when the words spoken in tongues are interpreted. They are like a prophecy. You love. I love prophecy. One of gifts. One of nine gifts. According to uh, the fourth Korean twelve chapter eight to ten. Uh, you know, the Bible tells us to ask for the gift of speak the, in the preacher speaking tongue. If we can speak in tongue, which means uh, there are times that we speak in different language without any need for interpretation and, and the times where listen my brothers it becomes prophecy through interpretation through the interpretation you gotta speak hmm? there are also times when it is directly interpreted without any relation with the ordinary language. Hmm? I, I follow me, what I'm saying. Huh? The praise in scripture with spirit spirit refers to pray and uh, praising in tongues Ephesians 6 chapter 18 says uh, uh, and pray in the spirit on all occasion with all kinds of the prayers and the request. Hmm? All kinds of the prayers and the request. We should pray with in spirit. In spirit, hallelujah. Oh, I, I like that. Yeah. Keeping this mind, this Paul said, keeping in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's prayer for the, uh, the fellow people in your church. Pray for the, for the, in the, your fellow worker, the friend, for their benefit. You should pray in spirit. That's what Paul asked us. In spirit, which means the speaking tongue and interpret the speaking tongue. Today's core cool message. I want to know and understand the interpretation speaking tongue. Paul wants us to, 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 to interpret the speaking tongue. I know you you speaking tongue now. Hmm? Yeah. But it's not enough. If you're speaking tongue now, when you pray in spirit, speaking tongue, you also need to interpret the speaking tongues because because listen Bible says the uh, first Corinthians 14 chapter 22 speaking tongue is a sign for unbeliever but prophecy including speaking tongue as uh, the interpreter speaking tongue is a sign for believer the member of a church 
that it will be edified church. Hmm? Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, uh, I continually the, uh, tell the, the, the Ephesians 6, chapter 19. Listen, my brother and sister. Pray also me to you. Pray for yourself that whenever I open the, my mouth, open my mouth, your mouth open. That's why somebody can hear. Huh? Sometimes you pray with your meditation in your mind. It's okay, but sometimes we need to open the mouth and loudly to the Lord, boldly to pray to the Lord what you ask to God. You love. So, okay, whenever I open my mouth, word, this word, word of God may be given me so that I will fearlessly make known the mystery of gospel I should preach it. That Paul said. Hmm? That is purpose of the, the speaking by the word of God that we should preach boldly to the people who doesn't know the gospel. Hallelujah. Preach the gospel. This word of God, which is given to you by the Holy Spirit. All over the world. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, pray the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you. Oh, I... I I, I, I feel Holy Spirit pour out in, in my mind now. Thank you, Lord. Pray the give me the Lord. Shout, 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 open your mouth, bold, speaking tongue. And Holy Spirit let you know and gonna give you the gift of the interpreter speaking tongue. Do you wish to live the successful life? Yes, I want to live the successful life until I die, until I go to heaven, until go my God call to me. I want, I enjoy going to successful life in this world. If you want, learn, you should learn heavenly language, speaking tongue. You need speaking tongue. If you enjoy successful life in this world and repeat the saying, this language God is going to give to you, his language which is positive, active, creative, the productive, Fulfilling by the Holy Spirit, we want and victorious, mm, right? Oh, it's so good. It's so, it's so heavenly gift. Of God wanna give it to you, to children of the God. If you pray, especially in speaking tongue and in the preacher speaking tongue, you gonna. Catch, you want re to receive this interpreter speaking tongue, one of the gifts that God wants you. Hmm? You know, we cannot live a heavenly life if 
We do not know each language. Huh? You know, pe the people who live in America must know how to speak in English. Huh? Or America must learn Korean language if she want to leave Korea. Hmm? A Korean will have a, I have a lot of experience when I came here first time here, 1984, as immigration. Huh? Korean people have all the hard time. I, I remember I was a very hard time to learn the English. If Korean will have a hard time if he only speak Korean but live in the United States. It's very hard if she don't know the speak English. It's very hard to live in this country. Likewise, we have to speak the language of heaven. Huh? Since listen, my brothers, since we have entered to it. Since we believe in Jesus, since we became children of God, we are living in this, this, this spirit, heavenly country. <laughs> Listen, my brothers. Yeah, we are living in. Heavenly country now where we go to heaven. Even my body in live in this earth, our spirit, your spirit, mind, soul, in heaven always. Am I right? Right. We live in heavenly country now every day. So we have we have to speak in heavenly language, speaking tongue. Because we are citizen of citizen of spiritual country where we are going to soon. Hmm? Uh, I hope that we speak the language of the heaven. You, I, I want you to not mind me. Paul asked us to speak in tongue and interpret the speaking tongue. Hmm? If you get the, 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 this inter, the gift of interpreting tongue, you can pray it a long time. Yeah. Huh? I have a lot of experience. Yeah, I, I'm enjoying prayer in spirit, speaking tongue, and interpret what I pray now. I know. What I pray now, God gonna hear you. my prayer. Satan cannot hear. Satan doesn't know. Satan wanna mad. They don't understand. Mm -hmm. And we all live a successful life by bodily confessing with our mouth. Hallelujah. Oh, I, I want to tell you the Pastor Cho, who Pastor Yonggi Cho, who is a uh, senior pastor in a uh, pastor of uh, Yoido Full Gospel Mission Church in Seoul, Korea. Yeah, before I closing this message, uh, he tells us the uh, you know necessity of interpretation of the tongue reflecting his own experience. Listen to my brother and sister. That's very, very interesting. He said, his tes testimony, what he had experienced when he, 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 he got the interpreter speaking tongue. I began Speaking tongue when I was praying at 
the night in chapel. This happened when I was in seminary. I prayed in tongues, and the interpretation came immediately. The, he heard and he spoke when he inter pray with speaking tongue and the interpretation came to him. That's what his, his testimony now. I'm speaking now. The woman in praying in her knees is not a believer of Jesus. Hmm? She is a shaman, shaman from mountain, mountain uh, 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 Sangam, uh, mountain Sangam, with in, in located in Seoul, Korea. I used to go to pray when I was a seminary. Whew. That <laughs> I about the thirty, about almost forty, forty years ago. I still remember when I was. Praying in mountain Sangha. Rara, the Christian used to pray at their place and witchcraft. Witchcraft were praying to their God, demon God, and dancing. It's a, I, I will say, it's like a, Mountain camel, you know, mountain camel is like the proper Eliza had thought with to the, the, the servant of Bar. Hmm? <laughs> that, that is like the Korean camel, mountain camel. That is he talking about. Mountain Sangha. Speech say in, in interpretation when he prayed. Speech say drive out the demon of the shamanism. It came from my mouth. And I couldn't believe what I was saying. So I turned to the light, turn on light in the chapel and went to the front. There was, this my brother, there was indeed a woman waving her hands like a shaman, like witchcraft, you know, witchcraft. Uh, speaking in a funny way, like green, like that. I shouted at her, by the name of Jesus Christ, get out, stop the speaking. <laughs> I command you in the name of Jesus Christ, stop the speaking right now. At that moment, I ought to tell them, she replied, I am a demon from the mountain Sangha. So what? So what do you speak to me? The devil said to the pastor, this never happened in my entire life. And as soon as I heard her reply, Another interpretation of tongue came to me. She is saying all these things because she is possessed. She was possessed by the demon spirit. She is blaspheming. She is blaspheming me. Stop! Stop! So I stopped and drove out the demon in her. Demon came out. 
since then I experience many benefit listen there is I want to tell you this point I want to this point in my sermon now the what he said pastor to say since I had experienced many benefit in interpretation tongue even today he granted me God granted him pastor to he granted me interpretation tongue when he needed it whenever speaking tongue interpretation came on that's what he 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 had his testimony we need interpretation speaking tongue i know i believe you it it pray in spirit you pray in, in the speaking tongue yeah absolutely we you should the speaking tongue and interpret the speaking tongue for the church or the people hallelujah thank you let us boldly proclaim the before the brother and sister in christ and the family the answers we have received during prayer we're going to give it to him he will be edified he will be encouraged by your word you want to give it to him when you receive the, the revelation in speaking tongue and interpretation in, interpretation came to you revelation came to you when you pray to the lord like the, 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 the pastor Cho testimony you will get it the revelation God gonna give it to you and give it to other people that touch it may be edified and glory to God the declaration of the faith hugely strengthens us to you and your church if you preach in speaking tongue and interpret the speaking tongue when you pray to, in spirit thank you lord pray that i i, I think you don't want to miss this what i'm preaching now and i want i really want to read first Corinthians chapter 14. this uh, this is a very very spiritual gift uh, the paul said explained you understand and read and read over and over you will be enjoyed and you we, we, we really having good time and fun time yeah you love i love thank you see you later bye bye